Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 10 French destroyer, the Marceau. We're playing a match on the map in Northern Lights. It is a fully tier 10 battle. And as you can see, there's one CV each, a submarine each, and a whole bunch of destroyers. In fact, there's only two battleships per team. Which is kind of surprising. We have a Montana and a Grosso Kofast. Anyway, I spawned near the decap. So I decided to head into it. And I went on the outside because I figured maybe I'll run into a destroyer and then we'll have a quick 1v1. And as a Marceau, I would like my chances. I mean, they have an Elbing, Shimakazes, and a Gearing, I believe. So any of those I can easily take on in a 1v1. Oh, I'm spotted! Oh, hello, Shimakaze! And I'm also radared. So I might as well take as many shots as I can on the Shima and then just hide behind this island. Because somebody is gonna take a shot. Wait, there's a second smokescreen. So there's Shimakasa there, who used the smokescreen, and then there's another smokescreen right there that somebody is hiding behind then. Also, there's an Andre coming from the outside, and we have no ships to oppose that. So my guess is that uh, I should leave soon enough. Take the cap and leave. Even right now, I'm kind of ready to just speed boost out of here. Oh, Audacious. Wait, what? I thought Audacious was gonna come for me, because, you know, obviously I'm a stationary target sitting here in the cap. But no, Audacious decided to go for somebody else. Okay, good. Very, very good. And I have the cap zone. Should I leave? I mean, there is an Andre coming from the outside, and if she catches me, I am in, a, in for a world of hurt. Waiting a little bit is a good idea, though, in case Shima had torps, but... You know, because she would know roughly when I leave, and then torpedo me, but... No, doesn't appear that that was their plan either. Audacious is coming in with torp bombers again, but I don't think that's gonna work too well. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Shibakasa never came back in to try to take the cap. So I might as well leave. And I think our Grossakov is in a lot of trouble. Those torpedoes seem to be exactly on course for the battleship. And that's, remember, half of our battleship force in this game. But there's nothing to shoot at. We don't see anything. And it's gonna be, would be extremely risky and difficult to go find the Shima. Remember, there was that second smokescreen. Wait, I think GK just avoided the torch. Oh, and we found the enemy Beilao, the submarine. I am definitely going for this. Oh, especially if there's a Shimakas over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the Hoshina the just got a die hard because the, because the Shima rammed her. Wow. <laughs> That's something, I guess. Our GK is trying to turn around, but I think that's a little too late on that one. And my plan here is to try to chase down the submarine. As you can tell, I have four depth charge charges. Uh, because I decided to spec into it, because I figured it might be useful. I mean, it would be extremely awkward if you try to chase down a submarine, you dump all your depth charges and then they're like, well, now what? If the submarine didn't die, of course. But with the four depth charges, that's pretty much impossible to happen. Now all we have to do is actually catch up to this underwater menace. This is actually why I'm playing the part, partly why I'm playing the Marceau, because I can catch the submarine pretty easily. That is. Oh, Montana dropped ASW planes, and she even avoided the torps. But hello, Belau. I'm gonna just start dumping now. Have some depth charges, please. What the Baylaw should have done in this type of situation is before I approached, she should have dived um, below the operating depth to like 60 or 70 meters. If she does that, then we wouldn't see her, I think. That would allow her to plot a different course to try to survive. 
at least until her battery runs out, but it would still waste more of our time. Right now though, yeah. She had a pretty short run, our submarine is still alive, so that's pretty good. I mean, that's an easy way how to deal with the submarine, right? Have your destroyer just go and kill it. Also, now my depth charge ability is kind of useless. In fact, I don't think I even used both charges to actually kill the submarine, so... Yeah, I guess uh, all of that specking into is now worthless. And I'm surprised that the enemy didn't actually go for the decap. I mean, the sh wait, the Shimakas is spotting me. She was right there and she didn't take the cap. Are you Wait, it's not the Shima, it's the Elbing. Okay. Um... What the hell? Wow, that actually hurt a little bit. Anyway, she smoked, so I am safe. We might as well try to do some blind shots into the smoke. Let's leave some tarps and run aground, of course. Hey, this is not sir. Right now, I'm just fishing. I'm trying to see if I can hit her accident. Oh, there she is, in the smoke. Those tarps look actually really on point, but I don't think they're gonna hit, because she probably knows. She's still in the cap, though. Come on, where are you, Elbing? Where are you? Okay, I'm spotted again. This is bad because Elbin could fire back at me now. Unspotted. Okay. That's a bit weird. Where is that Shimakaze? Anyway, the Elbin clearly has left the cap because, uh, you know, the cap isn't being taken anymore, but I am spotted. By what? Okay, Elbing left the smoke, but she's not the one that spotted me. It was somebody else. It couldn't have been the planes, it couldn't have been the Henri, it... How am I still spotted? Henri cannot spot me, she's squarely behind the island. Elbing is squarely behind... Oh! <laughs> I know what's going on. There's a Shimakaze going for our aircraft carrier right now. At around, uh, let's say, C9 somewhere over there, right? If I fire, that's one location where you can spot me and be and the reason why I got unspotted earlier is because she was passing uh, the islands. Yep. That's where the Shimakas is, but that also means it's none of my problem. I'm gonna go for the sea cap instead. Besides, does it really matter? I mean, it's a 9 versus 6. Okay, 8 versus 6. Still, we're significantly ahead. And the Midway actually found the Shimakas anyway, so we're completely okay. Well, of course, if the Midway can take care of the Shimakas, that is. Because uh, she's basically on her own. The closest... Well, me and this Montana are the only ships on this half of the map other than the Midway. And we're exactly on the map at the you know, middle point right now. So, yeah, Midway is on her own. But hey, we're gonna take the um, A, B and, well, C caps. And we hold the D cap, although I suspect the Montana and the Conqueror are eventually gonna take it. Oh, Elbing is there. So is the Conqueror though, but I probably should take shots on the Elbing. Maybe we'll get lucky. Never know, right? She's far, and the shells take a while to get there, but hey, maybe we just... Okay, never mind. Napoli did it for us. Conqueror fired, but since we were reversing, we're completely alright. And now we're safe, and we're gonna take the cap. So now it's three caps versus four. And Midway seems to be doing pretty well against that Shima. I'm gonna turn my destroyer around and then I'm gonna try to plot a course directly north and start harassing the Conqueror and the Montana as they're coming around the decap. Because eventually they'll have to. 
Good, Midway took care of the Shima. Now it's a 7 versus 4. We are squarely in the lead. This is basically over, right? I mean, what can they possibly do at this point? We hold 3 caps, they hold 1. We have 3 extra ships. Basically, actually, you know what? It's not actually that big of a lead. Because they have a CV, we have a CV. They have two battleships, we have one battleship. So they have two battleships and the cruiser, we have one battleship and the two cruisers. And then we have two destroyers and the submarine. But yeah, this isn't actually over. It seems like it should be over, but I think in a surface engagement, they might win. Well, there's at least a chance for that. I'm tarping, hoping that maybe it'll catch Montana or Conqueror unawares. Although I think Conqueror is out of range for those torpedoes. That's exactly why I'm gonna start shelling her instead of the Montana, because Montana might take evasive action and make it hard or less likely for those torps to hit. I'm just gonna go full speed, and hopefully the speed will make the enemies miss. Yep, Honorary Salvo completely missed. And we started the fire on the Conqueror. Excellent. Henri is using Reload Booster, I think. Well, that salvo went behind, so we're gonna slow down now, and then speed up again. And Henri shells fell in front of my ship, and now we speed up. And they fall behind our ship. Oh, damn, that clipped me. <laughs> the little clip took out my rudder and a turret, so I'm gonna damage on it. But right now, we're just gonna shell anything we can. Oh, this Andre is actually closer than I'd like it to be. Maybe I should fall into concealment, because this is a bit dangerous. Yeah, this is pretty dangerous. Can I actually fall into concealment if I'm on fire? That's a good question. I don't know this. At, at less than 9 kilometers, it might not be possible. We'll find out in a second. Um, no, we can't, because it's nine kilometers when I'm on fire. This is bad. Bad. Luckily, my fire is out in a moment, and even if I get set on fire again, I have another Damacon. Okay, well, it's still a six versus four. We're at 860 points, and we still hold three of the four caps. I mean, come on, this game is so over. There's just nothing they can do to win this, right? I just don't see it. I mean, we still have a CV, they still have a CV, sure. They have two battleships, we have a single one, but... We are, we have, th we have 900 points and we have three cap zones. And they're so far from the caps, there's just no way they can take them. Damn, I was hoping to bait the Andre into uh, turning earlier, but I misjudged the timing on when I would have had to make her turn to eat the torps. Sadly, now I'm in a gunfight with an Henri at 9 kilometers as a destroyer. <laughs> Maybe I should stop. I really should stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop. No, no, never mind. We're fine though, right? Look, we still have plenty of HP. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <clears throat> Just as I decided to stop, I actually did die. Um... Wait, 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 didn't we have six ships? Why is it the three versus four now? This is not good, guys. Um, right now I'm being a little salty in chat because I made a bad decision on engaging that Henri. I should not have engaged her. And the reason I'm a little salty is because, uh, well, first of all, the Henri shouldn't be there. She should be on her way to either the A or C caps, but she's on the A line, and, well, that's not where any of the caps are. And while this does impact my gameplay, it's probably gonna lose them the game. I say probably because it's not looking nearly as good anymore. I mean, we're still ahead in points, but that midway is very dead. And when that happens, the enemy is gonna be equal in points to us. Sure, they're still all far away from the caps, but... Um, that doesn't really mean anything, right? 
it might entirely be possible that they do get enough points to still win this game. The game ends in 3 minutes and 20 seconds after all. All they basically have to do is lock two caps on and then Henri is possibly fast enough. Look, we're even in points. But we still have a submarine left, so... <laughs> I mean... This is kind of perfect, isn't it? We have a submarine, they don't know where the submarine is. And she has battery charge. In fact, she's even on her way to the decap itself. But yeah, I mean, they killed us all, but now what? They don't know where the submarine is. I mean, Midway could try to flush her out by using the plane's concealment and knowing when the planes are detected, but it's not an easy thing and she needs to do it quickly and then actually be able to capitalize it on it without the submarine just diving. Because look, that submarine has like 40% battery right now and there's only two minutes left. Also, I decide to misdirect the enemies a little bit. I tell the enemies that our submarine has enough battery to just sit under the sea cap until the end of the game. Hoping that maybe they'll go looking for her at the sea cap, or maybe they'll, they're just more apprehensive on getting to the sea cap, right? Obviously, our submarine is nowhere near the sea cap, but if it even buys us a little time, maybe that's uh, useful. I think the submarine can just dive. She should have enough battery to last until the end of the match now. Also, um, the U-2501 is actually faster underwater than, it sh than she is on the surface. Not by too much, but still faster is faster. And if she wants to block the decap at any point, well, she probably should have dived earlier even. Wow, these engines are loud. I haven't edited the sound settings in any way compared to the rest of the sound. This is straight up as loud as it sounds. This must be what it sounds like when you're actually on the submarine, huh? Seriously, this is really loud. But yeah, 50 seconds to go. 958, they have locked two of the caps. But I don't think they'll be in time to look to win this, or to at least prevent us from winning. Now, I actually realized that no, our submarine cannot go into the decap. Because if she surfaces here, the CV will immediately know that the submarine is in the decap. And then both of the battleships drop their ASW planes once the submarine gets spotted. And that's incredibly risky. However, I think with only 12 seconds to go, we have this. The submarine surfaces, but the airstrikes couldn't come in in time anyway, anymore. But yeah, turns out he wasn't in the sea cap. I mean, I, I had a pretty mediocre game here. I made a mistake engaging that already, but... I mean, we still won, right? 1600 base XP, also, notice something. There's four enemies left, and he was the last ship alive. He got a solo warrior <laughs> with 398 base XP. Wow, submarines are OP. I'd like to point out that you get the battle hero achievement once you get 10 heroic achievements. Now, this is that guy's 10th. It's a damn solo warrior. Wow, that is incredible. But I mean, he won the game for us, right? So, he did everything he was supposed to. And hey, he didn't die like the enemy submarine just getting uh, dumped on by a Marceau. But honestly, if that Henri hadn't been so far north to chase me, they might have easily been able to win this game if they had just taken the caps. But of course, uh, I shouldn't have been dumb enough to actually engage the Henri in a gunfight. That was a bad idea. Also, I never indicated who was actually getting the solo warrior, did I? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.